known to many as the most interesting man to ever run for president. One of the most unconventional Ooh. candidates America has ever seen. Who was this man? Henry Zimmerman. Henry Zimmerman was born in 1978 in small town Riverton, Massachusetts to parents Trisha and Nolan who were small time sheep farmers. Despite the common small town mentality, Zimmerman was a bit of a loner as a child and never developed many of the social skills that most people who run for president do. His social overconfidence is likely because of his very supportive mother and very deaf father. He never knew his father was deaf. He was a sweet little boy, kind of odd, had a few friends here and there, but nothing too special. <laughs> Not now. Hen Henry Zimmerman, once he graduated high school, went to SMU, a little-known university. Uh, there, he discovered his passion for political science in one of their introductory courses. Uh, was it good? As an alumni, no. Uh... I never teach politics in the book. When I teach politics in my classes, I teach them like they're in art. I always only taught one side of the story so that they can make up the other side on their own. There's no other way to do it. I had this one student, Henry. He wanted to learn from the people who lost, the people that I never really taught anything about. He made stuff up too, but he was a great student because at least it made sense. Stupid band teacher, why do I have to share an office with him? It's also kind of funny looking. <laughs> it was at SMU where Zimmerman gave his first speech at his first rally. It was where his run for president of the United States began. I am a simple man! That was until his appearance on The Bradley Smith Show. Nobody expected him to get onto The Bradley Smith Show. It was a daytime talk show on public access TV. And at the time he was down by all the points, so he couldn't botch this. However, Zimmerman had hired an amateur campaign manager named James Berryman, who might have been the reason the interview went so poorly. So Berryman was incredibly inexperienced. He'd never actually gotten a gig before uh, Zimmerman hired him. And so the only real reason that I could think of to why he was hired was they were in the pl same political science class. So whatever the reason was, the interview went absolutely terribly. For our next guest, we have a local man running for president. Please welcome Henry Zimmerman. Please sit down, we're on a schedule. Hello, Henry. Hey there, hey, hey Brad, how's it going? Good, good to have you. Thanks. So tell us your role doing, you doing good, Brad? Uh -huh. Oh, I'm doing fine. Doing yeah, nice, uh, nice. How's your role you like my? Do you like my flag? I love your flag, very patriotic. Thank you. Uh, can you please tell us about your presidency? Well, Brad, why would I tell you about it when I could sing to you about yeah, it? Please hold it. Oh. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. 
Though his appearance on The Bradley Smith Show was a complete catastrophe, it did lead to some short-lived and minor popularity. It did, however, lead to the cancellation of the show and his eventual assassination. People of the Milky Way Galaxy! Hey! You were on my show! You have to catch me first! You always be 